In the age of the flathead engine and the flat top haircut, there was a drag strip around every corner in California. Irwindale, Lyons, San Fernando. That's where Keith Black and his buddies got started in racing. And Keith always made sure, since the days of the flag start and smoking the tires down the quarter mile, that his engines always had the winning edge. Mechanical things have always been of interest way back years ago. And I used to help uncles and stuff work on engines and mechanical things. And then after the uh, Second World War, I started racing boats, inboard boats, and uh, they ran fairly well. And then people I raced against would ask me to work on their engines. So I'd work on their engines and surprisingly they ran better. And that's where it all started from. Already famous for his international boat racing records, Keith went on to auto parts and engines, establishing Keith Black Racing Engines in 1959. It wasn't long before the famous trio joined forces, Tommy Greer, Keith Black, and Don Prudhomme. I came down to Southgate in 1962 to have lunch with Keith Black, and I didn't know a whole lot about Keith Black in those days. Uh, he wasn't the name he is uh, today, uh, back in 62. Uh, he was basically uh, uh, in boats. So um, we got together, and that's really how it started out. It was in 1962, driving the car, and of course, a fellow by the name of Tom Greer uh, supplied the money, and Keith did the engines. The infamous Greer Black Prudhomme Orange Dragster was the result of this amazing teamwork. This monster top fueler had an incredible 93% winning streak in the early 60s. You know, I miss those days, and I kind of think Keith does too a little bit. What did I tell you? In those days, the bigger it was, the better it was. And so all the guys, including the car I, w I just came from driving, it was a big stroke engine. It was a very powerful engine, and they smoked the tires tremendous in those days, and of course, bigger is better. Well, in Keith Black's theory, uh, that was exactly wrong. It was a smaller engine, and it got the car hooked up better. Instead of a lot of tire spin, it just went down the, the course and uh, used all the power to the rear wheels. And, and really, I think that was largely uh, uh, the main reason it was so, so far ahead. He was just way above everybody at the time. Well, Keith continued to stay ahead of everybody with his new innovations. In the 60s, it was the Elephant, a steel 426 motor used in Roland Leong's celebrated Hawaiian car. Then there was the super cheap funny car engine. And finally, the aluminum block. And it changed racing all around. I mean, you couldn't even uh, uh, run without a Keith Black aluminum block. I mean, it's, uh, and today, I, it still stands true. The aluminum block, you can remove the sleeve and the piston, put a fresh sleeve in, put a fresh piston back in the block, and within 45 minutes, you got a brand new block again. So uh, it allowed us to service the engine in between rounds, and it performed better. It was three years before we got ready for production, and I used to wake up at nights and think, and by the time it was done, I knew it wasn't going to work. I mean, so many people told us we were wrong, because that was a very, very big step for us to take. Who are we to design and build a cylinder block? The thing that I've learned over the years from the racing is if you have a part that won't win, you can't give it to a professional racer. If you have a good part that's capable of winning, you can sell it at a fair price. So what motivates the R&D is to make the part a winnable piece at a fair price and that keeps you in business. And Keith Black is serious about staying on top in his business. He is there every step of the way, from planning, to the shop, to troubleshooting. Keith's expertise has led him far afield in racing categories. So we get a tremendous amount of publicity from drag racing. Uh, in drag racing alone, there's tractors, uh, dragsters, funny cars, which is the same type, uh, sand dragsters. Uh, we have Super Modified, uh, which is presently running one of them. Uh, in the past, we've done Sprint Cars, uh, Trans Am, Indianapolis, uh, Unlimited Hydroplanes. Uh, it just goes on and on. It's uh, what I try and do when people come in and they ask me about something they want done. If it's something I feel we can do a good job that's mutually beneficial to them and us both, then we're interested. If not, I tell them. And who knows, someday we might be driving our own Keith Black streetcar. We've been exposed over the many years to a many, many types of racing other than drag racing. In 1970, the whole Trans Am program for Chrysler, which is Dodge and Plymouth Growth, all the engine stuff was developed here. And uh, we finally, in this last year, have uh, developed a replacement for the Chevrolet Big Block in aluminum. 
uh, and the components, crankshafts, uh, small block crankshafts, gear drives, things like that that we've done to spread the base out. I've been fascinated by mechanical things primarily. I'm a curious person about a lot of things that aren't even related mechanical, just curious. And being mechanical, being curious, uh, racing is a method of doing something very, very good 